Did she tell you she broke into my client's house and stole him right out of the crib? So I took him. That's not the same as kidnapping. I knew one thing. She's in trouble and she needs help. Hey, wait a minute. Where are you going? Don't move an inch. The Powerhouse Gang will be right back. Aren't you glad we're young enough to do things? I don't ever want to get old. So you think being old means a fun is over? Well, not if you're smart. <laughs> Come, I'll show you the way to do things today that will last your whole life long. If you open your mind, there's so much to find that will keep you going strong. You'll save yourself sorrow to go for tomorrow. You don't have to wait to stop feeling great. So start right away to do things today that will last your whole life long. What happened? I don't know. Wanna dance? Yeah. When you can't talk to your parents, who do you turn to for help? My parents are pretty uptight about things like sex and drugs, so... I usually talk to my doctor when I have a problem. I guess I would turn to my sister. I ask my shrink. I talk to my teacher because she was emotionally involved. I talk to him. Ask the people you know. That's the way to be a powerhouse. Come on, ask me. Just tuck David in. He's asleep. Fine. Thank you, Jane. It's Wednesday. I'm going to the movies, if that's all right. Oh, that's right. We don't need anything more, do we, dear? No. That's all right, Jane. You may go. I can manage. Thank you, ma'am. I'm sure he won't be any fuss. Washington left yet? About ten more minutes. Two, please? One way? Oh, the baby rides for free. Uh, uh, just one, I guess. Bus now departing for Dover, Delaware, Washington, D.C., Richmond, Virginia, and Pensacola, Florida. Can I give you a hand? No, I, I got it. Bus now departing. Ten. Can't give you a hand? No, mm, I can. Oh. Maybe if you'd hold the bottle just a minute. Okay. Hi. 
What's your name? His name's David. Hi, David. Do you live in Washington? Mm. You visiting? No, I'm just going there to find a job and leave. Do you have friends there or family? I don't have any family except him. His father's dead. Car crash. I'm sorry. Me too. Where will you live when you go to Washington? Don't know. I'll find a place, though. It was taken two days before her son was killed. My grandson is all we have left. He belongs here. So how come you called me instead of the police? We thought a private investigator would be more discreet. Tell me something. Why'd she take the baby? It's not your job to ask questions. We're paying you to find the baby. And when I find them, then what? Return the child to us, of course. What about the girl? We don't wish to prosecute the girl. We just want David back. I'll find them. Girl with the baby can't get far without help. When she reaches for the lifeboat, I'll be there. This is Tony, Kevin, ah, Pepper, and Lola. And this is David. Hey, little guy, how you doing? You shoot some hoops with us? <laughs> hey, he doesn't look much like you. You sure it's your baby? <laughs> sure is mine. All right. Okay, I'll hope. You'll need help finding a job, a place to live, medical care, and maybe even daycare for David. Family services will put you in touch with the right people. Tomorrow at three? Sure, I guess. That's fine, Evelyn. Thanks so much. Do they take David, will they? Of course not. Why would they want to do something like that? It's your baby, right? Right? Well, I'm David's mother, and that's all that counts. I saw this girl last night. She bought her one way to Washington. Never figured her for a kidnapper. Washington. Thanks a lot. I spent half my life getting counsel. It's a piece of cake. <laughs> I guess. Can I hold David? Oh. Oh, um, are you okay? Or oh, is it too heavy? Well, oh, watch your step. Watch your step. Oh, I got the door. I got the door. Hi. Hi. We've been 
appointment. DeWitt. Oh, he's not the father. He's not? No. Hello. Isn't he cute? Okay. Why don't you tell me you're the father? campfire friends in New Orleans, Louisiana, who practice health and hygiene in a big way. Stay tuned. Powerhouse will be right back. Thursday afternoon, 3 o'clock. The kid was headed for big trouble, and now we are knew what to do. Sweetheart, get a hold of yourself. That's the first thing you do. Thanks, mister. I mean, sister. Don't! Don't move that poor clown. Leave that to the pros. Hang in there, fella. Thanks. But your job in any accident is to stay cool and get help there. But who do I call? I don't even have a phone. Call the operator, stay on the line, and tell exactly where you are. Operator? How you doing, pal? I think it was the pineapple that got me. We'll do that to a guy. They're sending an ambulance. Good work, pal. In an emergency, call for help. That's the way to be a powerhouse. And that about wrapped it up. For personal achievement in the field of health, the Powerhouse Achievement Award. Ever thought your neighborhood could use a good cleanup? The Boys Club of Huntsville, Alabama's monthly campaign picks up 4,000 pounds of trash a year. They call it the clean seam machine. If your neighborhood's dirty, it will attract rats and that can really be dangerous. It looks ugly when there's trash laying out on the ground. Way to go, guys! picking up trash. I mean, the neighborhood really looks nice. I'd make you feel good. You'd like to live there. Do you like your car? Back to your car? Sure. Thank you. To the Huntsville Boys Club's Clean Scene Machine, the Powerhouse Achievement Award. Go for it. 